Today we're talking about historical blog optimization. So a lot of people use blogging to raise the visibility of their websites in the search engines and to generate leads and sales, and it's a very powerful tool for that. And the problem is that most people are always looking forward with their blog, They're thinking, what am I publishing next? What am I publishing after that? And it's all about keeping content flowing into the blog. The reality is that 80% of your traffic and leads will come from 20% of your articles. Sort of the classic 80-20 rule is that most all of your traffic, most all of your leads will come from a small number of your blog articles, what we call unicorns or, or winners. Uh, and the other thing is that when you publish a blog article, it can take three to six months before you know whether it's going to be a winner or a unicorn or not because it takes time for the search engines to pick it up. Uh, it depends on how much content you put in, how well optimized, whether it gets shared. So you may not know for three to six months if you have a winner or not. So it's really important to look backwards, you know, after that three to six months to see which of my articles are driving traffic, which of my articles are driving leads, and try and improve those and make them even better. Uh, because it's a lot easier to make a winner a better and bigger winner than it is to make a, a loser into a winner. So there are three different things that you can look for when you're looking historically. One is look for articles that are generating a lot of traffic, so are getting a lot of search engine visibility, but aren't generating a lot of leads. For those articles, you can look at conversion rate optimization. What's my call to action? How well aligned is that call to action with the, co the content of the article? Uh, and focused on, co on that conversion rate optimization. The second category to look for are ones that generate a lot of leads, have a very high conversion rate, but don't get much search engine visibility. For those articles, look at search engine optimization and try and get more visibility by either lengthening the content, adding video to make the dwell time on the page longer. And then the last category are kind of the real winners or unicorns where they get a lot of traffic and they generate a lot of leads. And even though that's the case, you still want to optimize them. Recently, we went in and optimized one of our articles that was ranking in position three and had like a 25% conversion rate. And by optimizing it, we moved it up to position two, and we increased the conversion rate to about 30%, so we got even more traffic and leads out of it. So bottom line is, make sure to look back at your articles that are already successful and make them better as much as you look forward at your new content.